What do you call a snowboarder without a significant other? Homeless. Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avon Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding. This week's episode, the top five signs you're dating a hobosexual. That's right, it's the fall. Shred season is right around the corner. People are moving to Shredtown, USA, or wherever. Maybe Shredtown, Europe, or Shredtown, Asia. I don't really know. But people are moving there, and that means hobosexuals are on the loose. These are the top five signs that you're dating a hobosexual. Number five, all your Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, or whatever streaming service you use, recommendations are theirs. They're not yours. They've, they've just taken it over. It's theirs. It's the first sign that you're dating a hobosexual. It starts there and then it just escalates. Number four, they've taken over half the pantry and half the refrigerator. You don't know where that giant jumbo-sized case of ramen came from. You don't eat that shit because it causes scurvy. And you're past that. You're a successful snowboard bum. The unsuccessful ones eat ramen and die of scurvy. Which, scurvy is the leading cause of snow carny death in the world. We need to draw attention to this, but that's, that's another topic for another time. No, that's not what we're talking about here at all. That's another topic for another time. What we're talking about is suddenly you go to the refrigerator and it's all vegan shit and tofu and you're like, what the fuck is this? I eat meat and potatoes and it's just gone. You're like, where the, what the, how the fuck, where, this shit, you know, it's that beyond meat shit that's like $25 a pound. You can't afford that, even as a successful snowboard bump, but they can because they don't have a home. They're a hobosexual. They're literally saving money to buy exorbitant food for some reason. That goes bad! What the fuck, people? Homosexuals just let food go bad. Number three. It's that magical time of the year when people are moving to town, leases are up for renewal, and some people can't get a lease, some people don't get a lease renewal. So they convince you that it'd be okay for them to stay with you for up to a month while they find a place to live they're not moving out people they're they're like a stray cat that you fed and now it's just there every day like give me tuna motherfucker gonna get my tuna and my catnip and shit and then they, they don't leave they don't leave and if they start rearranging the furniture they're settling in for the long haul you gotta you gotta look for the signs of the shit if they can't get a lease there's something really wrong and I, i'm not even talking like they live in breckenridge where if you can find a lease, it's amazing. I'm just saying in general, in any shred town, they can't find a lease or another couch to surf or something. And they're just saying, it'll be convenient for them to stay with you for a month while they find a place. Yeah, no, that's that's not fucking happening. They're not finding a place. They found their place. They're staking their goddamn claim. They're like an 1800 mining prospector. They've just like, boom, this is mine. You know, next thing you know, you're gonna find them pissing in the corner marking their territory or some shit. Cause they're stray cats. It's what they are. Number two. You've never seen their home. They talk about it, but you've never seen it. All adult sleepovers happen at your house. And it's getting to the point where you're starting to notice that they've left a bunch of their stuff there. Yeah, if you've never seen their house and you've had multiple adult sleepovers, yeah, then they're a hobosexual and they're just moving on in, man. Next thing you know, they're going to apply for squatters rights and you're stuck with them for at least 90 days maybe 120 depending where you're at don't let this happen make sure they have a place to live especially if you're hooking up with them also use protection no one needs snow carny children running around that's just duh there's no reason to have children unless you're going to harvest their organs and bone marrow to prolong your life you are a snowboard bum after all if you have kids you can't be a snowboard bum it's like yeah can't stress that point enough honorable mentions they're homeless i mean that should just be the dead giveaway that they're a freaking hobosexual but some people are too naive to this if someone's homeless and they're hooking up with you they're a hobosexual that's the literal definition of a hobosexual other honorable mention they're a sugar baby they're used to someone else paying for everything for them so what makes it any difference if they move in and just suck off of you like and not suck you off i mean just suck off of you like they're a little succubus 
what what's the difference there right like they're a sugar baby they're expecting you to pay for them for everything which also goes into the final honorable mention if they've never paid for anything in the course of your relationship and i use that term loosely because i see people get together and after two weeks they're living together that's just kind of how shred towns go in this current society but anyways let's move on from this and the number one sign you're dating a hobosexual is neither of you actually care for each other, but the rent is cheaper. It's your way of getting to being a successful snowboard bum. Like you just, you shack up with whatever you can in hopes that it decreases your cost of living so that you have more money for other things, even though it'll sacrifice your quality of living. If you two don't care for each other and you're shacking up to save rent, you're both hobosexuals. It's a copacetic homosexuality going on right there. You're both just sponging off of each other to lower your cost of living to be where you're at. Even if your quality of life will dramatically suffer, depression will ensue, you'll start eating all that ramen, and then you'll die of scurvy. No one wants people to die of scurvy. Scurvy is a real problem out there, people. We thought we eliminated it, but you know, there's all these people that suddenly are bringing scurvy back. It's literally the number one cause of snowboard bum death in the world. Don't die a scurvy because you are a hobosexual. Shouldn't need to stress that. This has been my top five lists of signs that you're dating a hobosexual. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I forget one? Leave me a comment down below. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. So that way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all of you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like to support us and you want to see more comedic offerings from us, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and sign up. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that somewhat explains it. I'll have a better one later on. Anyways, as always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.